Hello and welcome to Teach to Learn, the channel in which I teach concepts so you can learn them and I can better understand them. Right now we're going to be learning how to prevent object mutation in JavaScript. So let's jump right in. As seen in the previous challenge or in our previous lesson, const declaration alone doesn't really protect your data from mutation. To ensure your data doesn't change, JavaScript provides a function called object freeze, this function right here, to prevent data mutation. Once the object is frozen, you can no longer add update or delete properties from it. So we freeze our object, and after that, any attempt at changing the object will be rejected without an error. Then they provide this example right here, in which they are declaring an, a variable called obj and assigning to it an object with two properties. They declared this object by using the let keyword. So our object contains inside, our object obj, contains inside two properties called name and review, each containing string values. So our name property contains a string value of free code camp, and our review property contains a string value of awesome. Then we have the following line of code in which our object is frozen through the object freeze function. So we type in the object freeze function and inside we type in our object's name in order to specify to our function that our object will be frozen, whichever object we choose. Then we have attempts to add, excuse me, then we have an attempt to modify an already existing property within our object through dot notation. So we have obj dot review, so meaning we access our review property and attempt to assign to it a new string value with the string bad. And then we have an attempt to create a new property within our object also through dot notation and assign to this new property a string value of test. Then simply in the end, our object is logged into the console. And then they're explaining to us right here, the object review and object new prop assignments will result in errors and the console will display the value name, free code camp and review awesome. So the console will, sorry, the value logged into the console will be the initial object in its entirety before it was frozen. These two modifications will result in errors because we froze our object with the object freeze function before we attempted to add new things to it or to modify it. And then we have our challenge. In this challenge, you are going to use object freeze. Wait, before we get to the challenge, let's see this code in action just so you can see what is going on. We'll get back to the challenge right now. We have our code right here and we get a type error initially because we cannot assign to read only property review of object. We cannot reassign a new value to it because we froze our object beforehand. What if we deleted this line of code right here? And we, we get another error this time saying that we cannot, we cannot add property new prop because object is not extensible. Our object is frozen. So you can see the, the concept in action right there. You can see our object freeze function in full effect. Now let's move back into the challenge. And right here in this challenge, you are going to use object freeze to prevent mathematical constants from changing. You need to freeze the math constants object so that no one is able to alter the value of pi and add or delete properties. So here we have our function called freeze obj, freeze object, which inside has a block of code with variable math constants declared through the const um, keyword and assigned a, an object with a single property with the name pi 
and a value of 3.14. So we need to make it so that this value is non-modifiable. So we simply go into our function and type out the following. Our object freeze function to freeze our object so that nothing can happen to it. And we get object freeze. Our object with the pi property is called math constants in all caps, constant. And now we've made it so that this cannot be modified, which they attempted to do so right here. So this challenge is now complete and we've successfully seen what the object freezes function, function's purpose is. So let's run the tests and we are now done. And that was the object freeze function, which we use in order to prevent object mutation. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. It really helped me out a lot. This has been your bearded coding friend now signing off. Have a nice day.